So I decided to make an audio track that goes along with a little video I put together, well, video or website presentation or whatever, uh, that supports a uh, an air pump aerator that I'm really impressed with. And there's some ins and outs. I wouldn't say there's much in the way of a downside um, to these air air pumps, but I'm, I'm really liking them to the extent, in fact, that I've bought uh, two of them. And uh, I can explain that uh, uh, basically by saying that I, I like them so much I'm, I'm replacing all my air pumps with them. And the first unit that I got was actually a freebie from the manufacturer. Thank you very much. And I tried it, and I liked it because the one air pump could push my entire fish room. It's a pretty powerful unit. And it's well made, and it's getting good reviews, and, you know, there's a lot, a lot to like about it. It's also got a decent price point, uh, assuming it lasts three or four years, and the warranty is long, and they do back their product up. So, and it has user, uh, not user, but it has replaceable parts inside. So I said all that to say this. I'm really liking it, and like I said, I got the first one as a freebie, and have liked it enough that I've gone ahead and bought two more um, for other applications around that I have with fish. So let's get started talking about it. It is the um, pond aerator from Aquascape. Um, I don't know, some of you may remember 20 years ago, um, they were uh, leaders in the pond industry, but not necessarily with, you know, the high tech stuff. And and then um, over time, there's a buddy of mine over there named David Kelly and a couple other guys that are pretty bright, and they came up with really better than industry stuff. And uh, this air pump is one. I, I, they jobbed it out and engineered it and, and came out nicely. So it produces a ton of air. Um, and then hopefully by now I've shown you a picture of it. And uh, it's uh, the thing I like about it quite the most is that it is very, very quiet. And it's high output. And it doesn't generate a ton of heat. And I'm not worried about it heating the fish room. It's about touching the case and burning your fingers, which I used to do with my um, Active Aqua, the smaller flange type Active Aqua air pumps, which are a fraction of the price of the expensive plastic body diaphragm air pumps. Um, and there's some background on that too. But these Aquascape units are cool to the touch, they're quiet, and they really put out. Um, maybe here's a good point for me to mention something. Aquascape sells two different sizes. They've got a, a smaller, uh, I think it's a 20, and then they've got the larger 60. The uh, 20 is fine, and I'm going to keep the 20 that I got as a backup, just in case one of my big boys goes out. I'm going to be able to drop that and put the uh, the 20 on to hold hold the situation over until I can get a replacement for the 60, uh, but the 60 can push pretty much whatever you want. I mean, it, it certainly performs as well. I have a, and I'll show you a picture of what's called a regenerative blower. It's performing as well as my regenerative blower, which I've used for years. Uh, the problem with my regenerative blower is that the, that blower is noisy, and also it, um, well, it's just noisy for the amount of air that it produces, which is good, and the fact that it runs for years and years. The, this regenerative blower that I'll show you a picture of is 10 years old, um, but uh, just noisy and um, gets pretty hot. And um, well, in any event, um, the Aquascape, uh, the larger of the two Aquascape units produces uh, that much air and more under just the right kind of pressure to be able to push all the uh, filters in my fish room. And so I'm running my tanks at home um, using the same air pump. And um, I'm running, let's see, seven drops in my 180. And then in my 300, then in my 300 outside, uh, I've tapped off the same air pump and I'm pushing another five drops and it's not even slowing down. So what I'm going to do is just keep putting drops on the um, um, diffuser, the um, little manifold that, that comes uh, with it, and I'm just going to keep splitting the air until I come up with whatever the maximum number of drops I can make in aquariums. Um, 
eventually I'm going to pick one up and put it on the pond that I have. It's not really a pond. It's a giant box of water. Um, but I'll be uh, running one on that just to see how that goes. Actually thinking about going with air-driven sponges out in the, uh, in the main system. I don't know. Uh, that's off the, off the uh, beaten path of this uh, presentation. But back to the uh, Aquascape aerator. Um, I'm using the big one. And it's quiet and cool, and it really produces air, and it's got a good warranty, and it um, lasts a long time, and you can get them uh, easily. I have been picking mine up on Amazon after my first one, which was free. I uh, have bought the other uh, two at retail on Amazon. They are completely worth it to me. And... Um, That is pretty much what I wanted to get across, is that I'm using them uh, to power my fish rooms and that the one at the office can power the entire fish room. I will get you a count of how many drops that is. Uh, ultimately, I will uh, update you with, uh, in this article, the written part of this article, I will update you with how many drops ultimately it is pushing. And um, hopefully you uh, enjoy that air pump as much as I do and uh, something to keep in mind is is that the average 30 gallon tank owner isn't going to need anything anywhere near that powerful but if you're pushing um, multiple fish tanks or a pond I think you found the air pump that you need